How to create a Miro board full tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can build your own boards on Miro, what exactly can you do with Miro, and how you can optimize your workspace and your project with Miro boards. So let's get into it. Now to get started, simply head on over to Miro.com and click on sign up for free on the top right. Now, once you click on sign up for free, the sign up process on Miro is pretty simple and straightforward. You can get started with your email address and that is all that you are required to sign up with. You can also choose to sign up with Google, Microsoft, or Slack. So I am just going to proceed with my Google account over here and we're going to accept the terms and conditions. And then we're just going to continue to sign up over here and sign into our Miro account. So now I have signed up to Miro and on the Miro account, you're going to be presented with your dashboard. Now on the top left, you have different teams that you can build. So let's say I have a team called Meraki and this might be a marketing agency that I'm running. So I can build a separate team for this. And obviously, if you want to build more than one team, you do have to upgrade to a premium plan on Miro. And I'll discuss that later in the video. Now, in the Miro dashboard, you are going to find different boards that you can create. This is one example board that I have used in the past, which is a simple Kanban board. This might be very much representative of what you might see on Slack or what you might see on Trello or ClickUp. And it's a very easy to navigate board. So to get started with your own Miro board, click on new board on the top left. And this will load up your new board on Miro. Now, Miro is primarily a visual workspace and with a visual workspace, they provide you with a free different templates that can help you in getting started. So if you go into all templates, you can find some amazing templates available on Miro. This includes project kickoff templates, brainwriting, reverse brainstorming, mind map templates, and more. Now, let's say I want to build a project management or agile workflow. I can go into this and then you have a few different options. Now, I want to maybe go ahead and I'm going to take a look at some of the different boards and I'm going to go into the for you section and I think I'm going to use this Rose Thorn Bud retrospective template and I'm just going to click on use over here and once you do that your template will be loaded up into your Miro board. Now on the top left you have the board information so we're going to name this marketing and then after that I can change the thumbnail as well. Let's say I want this to be the thumbnail. You have a few different options in thumbnails so I will use this one over here and then click on over here to change the info like this. Now, once you have proceeded with the basic info, you will see on the top left, you have the different objects that have been added. You can also click on the top right to find different applications that have been integrated. Now, for any type of template that you have, you can click on the entire template space to alter the color and make it more customized to your personal liking. I'm going to make it pink because that's my favorite color if you don't know that by now. But once I have added this color, I'm going to click on the left section over here in my board. And for my board, I definitely am going to customize the texts over here. So I can go into object and then I can go into text. And then you will see on the top, you have different options to insert more text as well as customize the appearance of your text. Now. If you want, you can go on ahead and go and select a particular text block like this. Once you do that, we can customize this. Let's say our brand is called Miraki Marketing. I can add that over here. Now below that, I have these different sections or focus areas where people can, you know, insert their tasks. So I will add tasks over here. Then I will have in progress. And then after that, I can have completed like this. Now, after that, I can use these pink sticky notes to denote a task like this, and I can, you know, format them a bit differently. Now, if you want, you can obviously not use these sticky notes. This is just for visual appreciation. If you want a simpler, cleaner look, you can always opt for that as well. Now, 
Moving on to our next section, if you are looking for something different on Miro, if you are primarily looking for a board that is going to function like a very basic list or, you know, a very basic builder board on Miro, you can click on new board over here and click on create board. And in that board, you can use a template that is based upon a simple Kanban. So you can go into the all templates and search for Kanban over here. And once you search for Kanban, you have a few different ones available. And all of these are basically going to be enabling you to do the same thing in just different styles or different ways. So if I want this particular one over here, I can select this one and click on use template. And from here, you guys can see it's a very simple way. So what helped us move forward? What held us back? What could we do differently? What should we do next? Now, this is a simple Kanban board. Let's say I want to link this to another section. So I can build another section into what held us back, and then I can insert this. Then from here on the left, I can use one of the templates to insert maybe a mapping and diagramming diagram. And this might be related to or brainstorming and ideation and this would be the six thinking hats we can click on use template over here and then i can add the progress bar from where i worked on here what i learned from there into this particular section so you can build a really detailed visual board and the best part about using miro is that you will see how expandable it is so you have the option to really add things as you go add your own customizations and build something that can be sustainable in the long run especially if you're working in a already creative industry you want to have the ability to add something that is creative unique and is going to help your business in managing and being able to accomplish your goals now if we take a look at the pricing of Miro, Miro starts with their free plan. It has a option of unlimited team members. So as many people as you want can join the free plan. However, on the free version, you can only create upwards of three boards. You can share context and save time with five talk tracks, as well as start with over 2,500 templates and over 100 integrations. Now in their startup plan, it starts at $8 per member per month, which includes one click collaborators, high quality resolution boards, unlimited board options, as well as board histories, private modes, custom templates, and private boards that you can create. Then they have their business version, which is their recommended version, and that starts at $16 per member per month. And this is going to allow you to connect to different platforms. It allows you to add unlimited guests and build unlimited number of boards, private boards, clients, and you will really have unlimited features in this. And then you have the enterprise version where you can enhance the efficiency of Miro with their enterprise plans. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.